Okay. All right, good. Good work. <laughs> Not bad for a first timer, right? <laughs> okay, good. Welcome to the first was uh podcast, my special <sighs> guest. <laughs> Anthony. So Anthony, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> so how do you like Skype? Well, I say if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> what do you think of uh, last year we installed Linux for the first time on your computer? Tell me briefly the pluses and minuses, please. Well, I've had no viruses since then. Really? What a surprise. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. And the peace of mind that I'm not going to get a virus. Usually. Okay. I've had... Okay, so on the negative side, I like to listen to audio of uh, these uh, sports games that are archived on this one particular radio station. Okay. And it tends to, at times, um, it tends to, like, stutter, and I have to pause and unpause it to get okay. rid of the, to get rid of the stutter. Okay. Okay. All so right. that's one issue. Okay. But uh, other than that, I have been able to listen to to these games, which is mostly what I do. Is it easy? Has has it been easy to navigate to you know click and go to use stuff as you would in Windows? How 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 much of a learning curve? None really, I would say, f from that aspect. It seems just as easy to navigate as Windows as Windows was. Cool. Do you think it's faster or slower? Well, then Windows. Of course, I had both machines on the same internet service, so all things being <laughs> equal. Um, now, course, just to be clear, you had Windows XP before. So. That's right. Windows okay. XP is what I had before. Okay. okay. Um, I can't really. No, I haven't noticed any difference. Okay. Okay. All right. You are running a, a non-LTS, a non-long-term support of Linux Mint. Come June, you will install the long-term support, so you won't have to worry about it uh, for five years, I believe. So hopefully that may run with less issues than the previous version, which is only supported for nine months. So let me ask you this, because I know, I know you need to go to call, call your dad and stuff. This is a very short conversation here. So... Uh, would you recommend, because Windows XP expires here next month as of this recording, would you recommend to all the XP users that, would you recommend them, those users, to try Linux Mint? I would. Uh, I mean, especially if you can do it without completely letting go of your, you know, Windows-based, um, you know, Internet. Uh, but definitely, if you have the opportunity... To, to try this, I would do this, and um, you know I would probably use both if I had them. Which right now I've only been using my Linux. I haven't even really picked up my Windows computer, and I've had it back for two weeks now, so I haven't really missed it. But I would say you know use them both, and then if you want to let go of the Windows, you know maybe that's the move. So in two weeks you haven't even used your your, your Windows PC at all. Wow. Oh, okay. 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 Well, there you go, folks. Uh, my friend Anthony, a first-time Linux user, well, since not quite a year now, but I'd say about, what, the nine months. He seems satisfied. So all you XP users out there, Windows XP expires in less than a month as of this recording, and do not keep running it. it you keep that running, and all the hackers will love you to keep Windows XP. So try Linux Mint because my friend has, and he loves it. Well, that's it for our very first, <laughs> you say it better than I do, what's up podcast. <laughs> so Anthony, say, come on, what's up? <laughs> Linux, what's up? Okay, thanks for listening, folks. We will catch you next time. Ciao.